New tonight, rare photos of a 1970s spy drone developed by the U.S. Air Force to intercept enemy communications. So the photos were a part of a secret project called Compass Dwell. News 6 has been investigating this for months now. As investigator Mike Holfeld reports, we finally have some answers. News 6 has confirmed these original sketches found in an Ocala trash pile represent the exact specs for Martin Marietta's last aircraft, never made public until now. It's an art form that I think is now lost, and they're, they're actually treasures from my standpoint. Stan Pyatt, founder of the Glen L. Martin Aviation Museum in Maryland, says the collection of material from sketches to artist renderings connect the dots to a secret unmanned U.S. spy drone project called 845A, codename Compass Dwell. It's the engineers who are the best historians for this stuff. As we first reported, it was former Martin engineer George Hampton who left all of this behind. Hampton worked several key aerospace projects for Martin, and as we now know, this unmanned spy plane. Well, Martin called it the ferret, and it's a generic term for aircraft that are designed to listen you know, for communications, whatever. So they, these days they're called Signet or Elint aircraft or electronic intelligence or signal intelligence. Pyatt says the craft was intended for U.S. spy missions designed to intercept radio communication over North Vietnam. I suspect that what this, this aircraft was designed to do was to just to be able to sit up there for hours and hours and listen and waiting for some type of communication that you could isolate to a specific place and then they would go in and try to interdict it and take it out. News 6 has obtained these U.S. Air Force photographs documenting remote test flights of Compass Dwell. This document suggests the first successful flight was actually conducted February 25, 1971. These photographs show the on-ground radio controls used in the flight tests. But for some reason, this spy plane was scrapped, never to be seen again until now. This is the biggest cache of material on this project that we've ever seen. The company really didn't save any of this because it was a lost project. You know, they had no need to keep any of this. So boom, you know, away it went. According to these documents, the last flight for the plane was July 30th, 1972. It lasted about 27 hours. We are told, based on these documents, that the military saved one of the planes. Where is it? We may never know. In the newsroom, Mike Holfeld, News 6. I had no idea drones have been around since 1971. So interesting. Cool and the thing we continue lesson. to uncover all of this stuff from decades yeah. it's ago. It's like a big government secret for a while or what? I mean, <laughs> since 71, really? No, I just got one for Christmas last year. It's amazing <laughs> how it works. Yeah, You're one behind of the, the times. The cheap ones, yeah. Chief